future. Whether infections cause implantation failure, recurrent miscarriage or infertility is still debated, but there's more and more evidence coming now that is probably going to tell us that chronic endometritis may be the next barrier which we need to understand better to be able to improve the chances of pregnancy. So if you look at this paper in fertility sterility, they looked at chronic endometritis, which is an inflammatory condition with unusual CD138 positive plasma site infiltration. Now, the recommendation was that you should see endometrial stomal plasma sites. Now, the only way you could find it out is by doing an endometrial biopsy by a hysteroscopy and then looking at these plasma sites. Now, often it's missed. At hysteroscopy, you see subtle abnormalities, such as you may start seeing small protrusions or edema. And what we now know is there's some relationship between chronic endometritis that is seen and implantation failure, IVF failure, recurrent miscarriage and unexplained infertility. Now, what are the commonest causes of, of chronic endometritis? And it seems to be streptococcus, Escherichia coli, Enterococcus fecalis, Uriprasma yeast, and other species. What we know is short-term antibiotic reduces this by 75% in 10 to 14 days of antibiotic treatment. It is possible that there could be a natural remission but we just don't know this answer. Now, there's been a study done by Sinelli, who looked at 115 women, 64 agreed to have antibiotic treatment when endometritis was confirmed, and the rest refused treatment, even though endometritis was confirmed. And the cure rate with antibiotics was 81.25% with the treatment group, and 6.25% with the untreated group, clearly indicating that remission was not something on the cards. There is no doubt that antibiotic treatment reduces the chronic endometritis. But what we still don't know is in which cases should we treat, should we offer it routinely as an enteral biopsy to all our patients, and whether treated, treating this will improve the chances of pregnancy. But in my belief, I believe that it is very likely that chronic endometritis and understanding chronic endometritis may be the next phase of improving our treatments. Thank you.